I need to change. And this is definitely the biggest change that I could think of. Happy day, happy 2021. Welcome to my channel if you're new here and welcome back if you've been blessed with my presence in the past. My name is Hunter Brene and this is my YouTube channel. I won't belabor the, the topic at hand or the title of the video. So I will be moving more than halfway across the world to South Korea in a little under a month. Yeah, still, still feels so surreal. Like it doesn't, it hasn't really hit me quite yet that, that I'm leaving for real. So I've been working on this project for months and I've kept it really, really, really close to my chest because I wanted to make sure that all of the cards were falling into place before I broadcasted this to the world and told everyone um, that I was gonna be making this journey. I told some family and friends and people who I trusted and who I knew would be super supportive, but just with everything that's happening in the world, um, I didn't want to count my blessing before it happened. If I'm transparent, I just didn't know if that next ball would drop for 2020. So, so I am moving to Seoul, South Korea um, to teach English through the EPIC program, which EPIC stands for the English program in Korea. It is a one year long contract, but it can be renewed annually. So for me, my personal time frame is minimum two years to really get a chance to get a lay of the land and to enjoy things that South Korea has to offer and also to ethnically and culturally understand the country a little bit better. But long term, I'm telling myself this could be my forever home. We'll just have to wait and see. This is an opportunity I couldn't say no to. Not feeling safe in America and then also with the pandemic and everything else that's going on, um, I need to change. And this is definitely the biggest change that I could think of. I have not been to South Korea, um, quite honestly. I haven't really experienced any place outside of the US besides one cruise. So this is gonna be a brand new journey. Um, a lot of amazing things are gonna happen. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of tumultuous waters. So leading up to my February move, I'm doing a few things to prepare, so I'm obviously packing. I have clothes and shoes and things that I am slowly going through and getting rid of and packing my stuff into the suitcases so that I'm ready and prepared for this. I'm buying a lot of essentials. There are products that I know that I won't be able to get as easily in South Korea as I can here, most specifically hair products. You know, buying things, packing those up, taking inventory, figuring out what I need, what I don't need, and what I just want, because I'm a hoarder. <laughs> I'm also handling some banking things and getting money squared away so that I have access to different things. Um, also phone, I, I probably won't have my number for much longer, so uh, email me, <laughs> um, message me on social media. All my social medias are in the description box below as well as my, like, personal email so reach out like let's hang out via zoom or let's like stay in touch even amidst this this big change so no matter this journey and and how it ends up going i want to take y'all with me i want to put you in my suitcase in my pocket and bring you along with me um as i start this next chapter of life um so if you're new here join the fam subscribe i'm going to be posting a lot more frequently so my last thing is I am studying Korean. So if you're watching this and you know Korean or you speak fluently, like let's let's catch up, let's have a conversation. Um, I am in the basics, so just like basic sentences and things like that. But if anyone's also wanting to learn, let me know. Like we can, I'm happy to film more videos about the language learning process. Also all the other things, the process with applying to Epic, process with packing and planning to move abroad, any of those travel videos that you would like to see, let me know. So for the people that I confided this information and in the support that you offered, I just wanna say thank you. 
thank you for being my confidant thank you for being someone who told me to go chase my dreams you know and to to not to not settle and to not feel as though i needed to continue to fall in line with the stable life and the nine to five um even though technically i'm still kind of gonna have a nine to five more like an 8 30 to 4 30 but my pages in my book are wide open so anything that you all would like to see i want to make that happen as best i can within reason i know i'm seeming a little bit more like chill about it please know i have cried a lot of tears i have screamed cheered run around the house like when i found out that i got placement in seoul i was a mess literally the the biggest thing um i could dream of in my current state of mind so that's that's it i will talk to you soon i'll definitely be back yeah bye